Hi, it's Josh Thomas, the vicar of the Daily Office Network, and my curled-up dog Luke, the verger, here to tell you that we are opening our 2018 Stewardship and Evangelism campaign with a mighty big goal this year, spreading the gospel. Our mission has always been evangelism, making new disciples, encouraging those who used to be disciples to try church a different way with us, and helping you who are committed disciples to grow in the faith. We know that saying the Psalms, reading the Word, and turning to God in prayer twice a day is a guaranteed way for disciples to grow in the faith. You know that too. This year, our organization is at a crossroads. After 13 years of steady growth, we have reached a plateau in daily traffic, total subscribers, and social media followers. The online environment we operate in changes every day. Everybody's on Facebook. No, wait, everybody's on Twitter instead. No, everybody loves Instagram now. And there's a new champion waiting in the wings right this minute. We think, moving into 2018, that we've gone about as far as a $40,000 budget will take us. From here, we can either stand pat, which means stagnating a little every day until we wait for the new thing, or we can go bigger. What you see now is about as far and as fast as Josh can get you by myself. I have my pedal to the metal, and this is as fast as the old car goes, just kind of cruising along at 67. And uh, the miles keep adding up, I'll tell you. What I recommend is this, that we keep the old car and buy a new one. That is, hire an assistant vicar. With 7,000 members, this is our year to do it. Here is our exact situation. If tomorrow I get run over by a Bud Light truck in front of the county courthouse in Kentland, Indiana, which is possible, we almost stop functioning at once. Yes, we have volunteers empowered and uh, committed to step in, but volunteers can't keep it up more than a week or two. It is a demanding job. Instead, we should have someone in the cubicle next to me who knows our system, our deadlines, and our people, and is ready to take over whenever a new day dawns. Until then, I need an administrative assistant in a proper office in the worst way. I'd like help for 20 hours a week in 2018 and full-time the year after that. I want to train someone in the mechanics of the liturgy and teach them the editorial functions that go with them. I'd like to go on vacation occasionally, leave town and everything, and not have to worry about these websites, social media, podcasts, radio station, and webcasts. When it is time for me to leave this position, I want our mission board to have the means to hire a new, fully qualified vicar, clergy, or lay, like any other parish with a vacancy and pay that person a professional salary with the kind of support systems in place that allow for proper boundaries between work and private life. Editorially, we need additional faithful voices besides just mine. The Daily Office Network is not the Josh Show. It never has been. And if I thought it was, I'd shut it down now. This is a group effort has been for years. We need more help, though, so it's time to upgrade and professionalize. This is the year. And we can do everything we need for $100,000. It will be up to you how much of that we'll be able to achieve. It is a whopping increase, a level we have needed to attain for several years now. I blame myself for thinking too small, asking too little, and trusting in the Lord not enough. 2017 
has been a year of tremendous growth for our services. With incredible blessings in our webcast groups, a fabulous retreat in New Orleans, the debut of our own online radio station, equipment upgrades, learning how to run a multi-platform ministry. I finally feel like I almost know what I'm doing. But see, I have been afraid to trust you and trust the Lord to fund us at the level we need to be effective. We are the size of a megachurch, but I have kept our costs down to about a penny on the dollar. That's no longer enough to do this right. And God has let me know that we will get whatever we need here if we just trust like we're supposed to. So I confess my sin to you. I repent of it and don't intend to commit that one ever again. Let us not be afraid of our success. And let us remember that mainstream progressive Christianity, theologically conservative but socially liberal Christianity, is the best news that you and I have ever heard. And it's the news the world is dying to hear, including you all-important millennials. Secular culture is alienating, and it's unjust. But the culture of Christ and his followers is uplifting and uniting. It's loving, and it's just, even when the church is not. So proclaiming Christ and his culture is exactly what we are all called to do. And I ask you to participate here with us, as our baptismal covenant calls us to do. The good news is that our overall publishing and webcasting expenses, our websites, daily office radio, social media that reach people directly, those remain a terrific bargain. Further, we are now well equipped to write, publish, and broadcast without any major investments in hardware. I get a new microphone this year. That's it. I got jealous of Clint's and I should have a new one. The savings will also allow us to expand our mission partnerships in number and financial support to $1,000 per recipient, church or school, and to create a new partnership that I'm proposing with the Matthew Shepherd Foundation for their anti-bullying efforts in the schools will have an impact, I know, on youth suicide rates. We are excited also about increasing our impact in Liberia, Brazil, and Haiti, and on the Rosebud Reservation in South Dakota. Speaking of youth suicide, we are educating children we are training bachelor's level nurses in two of the neediest nations on earth. We are keeping elders warm too on the reservation. We want to spend 2018 expanding the program offerings and professionalism of daily office radio as another way to get the voices of mainstream Christianity heard in today's media and tomorrow's. Change is in the air and another disruption is coming. We want to ride the new wave, whatever it turns out to be. For that, we know we need more flexibility and more staff to serve the Lord as well as we know how. In future videos, yes, this is just the first, I'll present our proposed 2018 budget and give more details. This is the overview. Now I ask you to pray for us as a ministry, that we can continue to grow, not stagnate, to reach more people with genuine good news, that God is love, and to proclaim the Lord's coming again. You know that we have financial needs, and we know that you have many other needs too. When you've prayed about it, and when you're ready, today or in the coming weeks, 
click the donate button immediately below this video. It will take you to PayPal. It is a quick and easy process. I will also publish the address to send checks to in the Diocese of Indianapolis. Every time we have a new video, we'll run it at the top of the page like this one with a link right below it. Otherwise, we'll put a link below the final hymn every day to remind you. We ask a minimum of $10 per subscriber, more if you're able, less if you're not. Thank you for praying with us. After 13 plus years of Lord open my lips and my fingers, I'm still learning and still growing in the faith, and I hope that you are too. God bless us all.